what's exactly going to happen to wheel noise after the shocking information that has been dropped today. Have you eagerly been waiting for this game? Even some of you wanted to join the beta testing. Today, I made some further investigations about what's happening behind the scenes. I also have come with full information on whether the game will be released or not. But before all that, please give me a favor and subscribe to the channel. If you're new because it really supports the channel a lot, Let's ride. Ronward Studios has been the known development team company, which has been working on wheel noise. For those who have been following this game, you know what I'm talking about. This very week, Ronward Studios has done something that broke most of the players' hearts. We all remember that these guys have been sharing game news about this upcoming game the whole of this year, and they even prepared to release the mobile version first because the PC version was complicate to complete due to the team being a little bit small. Most of us have been just waiting for the beta release, which was announced recently as you saw at my latest video about wheel noise. But something's happened this week. Do you know what? The Ronware Studios, the same company that has been working on wheel noise, has transferred ownership to another new company called Double Z Company. A few days ago, I started seeing a Double Z profile name on the Wheel Noise Discord server name, but I didn't understand what was going on. Until yesterday, I saw an official announcement that Ronware has transferred the game to Double Z. But who is Double Z? And why would Ronward do such an act? Well, in their transfer announcement, this is what they said. The studio has undergone a change of ownership, transitioning from being owned by Amo to a game holding company. This change does not involve the sale of the studio, and there will be no disruption to the studio's operations or its employees. The game, which is already fully completed, will be released as planned adhering to the previously announced timeline. The new ownership will not affect the game's quality, content, or development. While the studio has experienced some changes in its development team, including the departure of its founder, the game's completion and release will not be impacted. The new holding company has chosen not to advertise itself now and to keep it confidential. And Further details about the transition will be shared upon the game's official launch. So, according to this information, they mean that there has just been a change in management, but not the whole studio, and even the employees have not been changed. But why is all this happening? When I went to find out what exactly happened, I saw this message from this guy that the game won't be affected, but only new management. As they said in theory announcement, that it's a game holding company. What I noticed is that they have even changed their YouTube channel name to Double Z. And also not only a YouTube channel name, but also their Discord server and other social media platforms. The only advantage here is that the game release dates have not changed and the game name remains as Wheel Noise. So the fact about this change is that Ronware is no longer in this game management. What I am scared of is that we have spent long without seeing updates like the way they were. I don't know whether you've noticed. Just know that the game will still come as expected, but know that the company is no longer called Ronware. But it's double Z now. Let's just keep waiting and see what this new management will do the game. It might be an issue of funds that Ron were failed to invest. But since this new management seems to have more, let's see what happens next. Well, all that information, I just wanted to say that if the information was helpful, please consider like and subscribe to the channel.